8. This is a guidepost on uh, sex and love. Um, so we've been talking about the relationship of our createdness, our being as distinct individuals. I am physically separate from others but I long for a connection. And it's sort of that awareness of our separateness and our longing for being connected that draws us into relationships with each other. Some of them really profoundly intimate relationships where we want to bond with, we want to become the other, we want to join with them physically, to be physically intimate. So we're all drawn to that. <clears throat> and that is essentially what the, the sexual desire is about, is that bonding with another. Um, I shared with you uh, earlier this week this the the uh, meditation by Richard Rohr about the flow of love. It seemed to be really appropriate to what it is that we're talking about. But then uh, later in the week, I got into some conversations about folks about sex and sex that's not connected with love. So we want to look at how it is that sex and sexual desire and sexual behavior, our sexuality, may be devoid of or at least separate from uh, circumstances in which we are expressing uh, or, or, or um, intending to express love. Now, one of the things we know about sexuality and desire and arousal is that it can be really intense. It can be very satisfying, uh, but it's, it, it is such a vivid experience for some folks that Many of us can find that it's an antidote to our anxiety. If I'm feeling anxious, that sense of, or maybe I'm, especially if I'm anxious about not being connected, I can do something that is sexually arousing, not necessarily with another person, maybe with an object, maybe with myself, maybe, you know, however that is. But I, it, the, the intensity of arousal is such that it makes a really good antidote to anxiety. So it's easy for people to become sexually addicted. The guy who did the Atlantic, uh, 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 Atlanta, well, the, that series of uh, assaults on massage parlor, parlors, uh, he claims was fueled by the frustration he feels about his own sexual addiction. Seems to be some other things too, but... But anyway, an addiction can be an extremely powerful force in our lives. And one of the things we can be addicted to is sexual arousal and stimulation. Right? Another way that sex may show up as being distinct from love is that because of the desirability of sex and sexual connection with another, someone who is experienced as desirable to, uh, by others may sell that access to themselves, to themselves physically, as a way of, it's a kind of work, it's a job, you know, as a, a sex worker doing something which constructs this sexual experience for someone else, and they want it so much they're willing to exchange money for it, so it becomes a kind of job. It becomes uh, a resource that some people have that they can sell, that they can then use to support themselves and their children. And, a third way that comes up for me is in terms of the relationship of how it is that sex and love can be uh, separated from each other, is that sex and sexual activity can feel really powerful and even overpowering. And so some people may use their uh, physical size or status in a way that uh, is overpowering to another and thus it gives them a sense of power. Uh, and so rape, as an example, is not about sexual desire. It's about uh, an exercise of power insofar as it overpowers someone else. So these are just three examples of ways in which we, in our lives, experience sex and love not being connected. So for this week, I want to invite you to be thinking about how is sex and love connected for you or disconnected for you? What have been some experiences you've had where they... Uh, maybe you thought they were connected, the other person didn't, however that's been for you. We want to just to kind of explore how it is that sex and love are not connected because I think in the long run, we want, to, we want those two to be in harmony with each other in our lives. We live with the intention <coughs> of sex being, being an expression of love. All right, I'll see you Sunday evening.